Is Malta being told the truth about abortion? Some say that human life doesn't begin at conception and that abortion is a reproductive right. We know now from science, from the moment of conception, there is a bright spark of light, the first stage of human development. And from that very first moment, a human has its complete DNA and genetic makeup. We know what hair color they will have, whether it's a boy or a girl. We can even determine what height that human being will be when they reach adulthood. The right to life is the first and fundamental human right. And abortion takes away a life of a tiny, innocent human being. One of the most popular arguments that we hear for abortion is my body, my choice. Science has proven that an unborn child is not part of the woman's body. It has a separate DNA and a completely separate body. When pregnant, a mother doesn't have two hearts, four arms, four legs, 20 fingers, 20 toes and two mouths. Nor does she have two sets of DNA. Just because unborn children are in their mother's bodies does not give the mother the right to end their lives. So what will happen if Malta legalises abortion? In the UK, where I'm from, abortion was introduced for exceptional cases. Quite quickly, what we saw was a slippery slope pattern emerging. And today in the UK, there are over 200,000 abortions every single year. 98.2% of these abortions are not for these exceptional cases. So Malta, if you open the door to introducing abortion for exceptional cases, you're also paving the way to seeing abortion normalised and widespread across the country in all cases. We are Project Truth and we're a youth outreach initiative and from Scotland and we bring the pro-life message to the streets. And we've been invited by Life Network Foundation Malta to compliment the amazing work they do in empowering women who are in crisis pregnancies and offer counsel to those women who are struggling after an abortion decision. Together, we aim to educate, inspire and empower the Maltese people to keep upholding the value and dignity of human life.